Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Kate Davis to talk about HP storage, and more specifically, about software-defined storage, and what exactly does that mean? So software-defined storage is a, a new category. Um, it is basically looking for a definition. Uh, people like the term, and so HP is working to define it, and we see it in kind of three parts. It has open standard hardware, such as x86 servers. It has a layer of rich data services, and then is topped off by some common management. All right, so in, and how do those three things all work together? So the three things work together as a very flexible and efficient package. So take our ProLiant servers. Um, usually, if you're creating a virtual server, you usually have two disks in it running your OS. And our ProLiants have lots of drive bays in them that can be used for storage. And so by adding some extra hard drives, um, adding a layer of software for storage, um, you can create um, a fully functioning storage array within that server. And so you're serving your applications and your storage right there. And so really, that's, a, that's kind of the idea of um, you're abstracting the software layer of storage from the appliance itself so that you're not, you're not needing a, a coupled combination. Uh, you, can, you can kind of look at the storage as, as physical disks and then a controller software solution that, are, that work together. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it's basically converged infrastructure in a box. So you're having your server and your storage um, working together in the same um, basic con control plane and you get more efficient use of your CPUs because um, it's better utilization. You're able to get to the data faster because it's all internal. And you can have more efficiencies within your data center because you're using the same box, it's the same power cord going out. Um, it doesn't require extra networking. Um, and so it, it reduces a lot of your IT costs. And you guys just announced something that, that fits right in this uh, software def defined storage uh, category. Um, you want to talk about what that, what that was, that announcement today? Sure. So for the past six years, we've been shipping the store virtual VSA, the virtual storage appliance, for primary. And what we announced today was our store once VSA. So we now have a virtual storage appliance that does backup and dedupe. And why is that significant for people in the, who are looking for storage? So it's a fantastic solution to have both of your primary and your backup storage as software. So you can put it in small offices, in remote offices that maybe can't take additional hardware appliances. And you can really utilize those servers that are already in the infrastructure and add both your primary and your backup. So this is kind of uh, taking storage and, and being able to make use of a lot of excess capacity that may be out there. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of capacity that's housed within the servers. The servers are getting much dense. Um, disks are getting bigger. Um, and so it allows you to take advantage of that. It also allows you to take advantage of the storage integration that's really coming out in the hypervisors now and makes it a, a more integrated solution overall. And the, this uh, store once virtual works with any hypervisor? So today it, it works with VMware. That's first generation that's shipping. And our goal is to be hypervisor agnostic over time. Excellent. I look forward to that. Is there anything else you want people to know? Um, you can try it for free. So both Store Virtual and Store Once VSAs will be available uh, for 60 day trials. And you can go to hp.com slash go slash VSA rocks and check it out. Go slash VSA rocks. That's very bold. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kate. Thank you.